All right, guys, I'm out in the woods right now looking for snakes. I'm hiking through fields at the moment, and we're going to see if we can hike up a hognose snake. Last time I had a hognose snake on the channel, it was a really colorful individual, so we'll see if we can get lucky today. Shrews. There's one. Another one. First snake of the day, a little brown snake. These guys are quite common, but kind of cool to see. Pretty plain little snakes. I'm gonna put them right in here. I want it on the record that I hate these things. Look at these thorns, like, and it's when they die, they just break off into you and hook into you and they're the worst when you're hiking. What are you doing, buddy? Hello? It's a pretty little box turtle. Arms and legs aren't out, but I would probably call this a female. Just off a uh, quick glance, but we'll put her right back and we're gonna keep hiking around. I just almost stepped on this copperhead. It's gonna be hard to get you guys a good view of it. But man, I'm glad that I glanced. I just saw a snake dart off and I'm glad that I looked carefully before making any sorts of rash decisions because that's not what I was expecting to be out on the crawl like that. And he just took off. Good lesson to watch your step, but notice that that copperhead wanted nothing to do with me, even though I was basically pursuing him through this vegetation. So we'll leave him alone. Box turtle's literally right here too. It was just after I saw it. All right, see if you guys can spot it. It's a pretty easy one, I hope. Eastern box turtle hanging out. I'm just gonna leave that one right where it is and keep hiking along. Man, these guys are out today. Check it out, we've got another big box turtle. This one's got a really cool face. Box turtles are just such a lovable animal and it works against them sometimes because these guys get collected quite a bit. Um, I'll pick this guy up real quick and see if he sticks his head out. Sometimes they're more inclined to do that. Um, seems like this guy is not. Totally dark shell bottom, which is kind of neat. Uh, very obvious male. You can see that the shell's dented in right there, but put him back exactly where he was and keep hiking around. I think this is like number four. This one looks really cool looking. I don't want it to go in its shell, but maybe this will be one that comes out. All right, well, he doesn't want to come out and play, but he's got a beautiful red eye and a face. He's a really pretty male with some vibrant oranges on him, and that shell is top notch but we're gonna tuck him right back exactly where he was and keep hiking around. Guys, oh my goodness, check this out. There's a really nice hog nose right here in situ. Wow, I almost stepped on it. All right, I'm gonna gently try and move this snake. Whoa, that's a dope one. Put him out here. That is a crazy cool hog nose. He's very dirty and dusty, but that's beautiful. Man, this snake is really cool looking. I knew I was gonna get one eventually. Look at all that orange on it. Man, that's a really cool looking one. See, I've got it in hand right now. I just love the black face and the orange lips and and it's got this really cool like back and forth zipper pattern on parts of the body. It just pooped, so I'm gonna put it down. That usually means that they're close to playing dead and I wanna avoid that if possible. Beautiful snake though. <laughs> and there's a turd. Oops. 
Sorry, buddy. It's plain dead. Alright, freaking awesome. That was a really, really cool looking hognose snake. The weather's still great and I think we have a chance at hiking up another. If you notice the contrast and the colors were way better after it played dead, and that's because it actually smeared a bunch of musk on itself and it wiped, this is really gross, but it ended up wiping a lot of the dirt off of itself when it was like writhing around and it wet itself and it was, I wish it were that clean without the dingy uh, dust on it prior to playing dead, but cool that we got to see it like that. Snake headed off into the woods, as you guys saw, and uh, we're gonna keep hiking around. All right, so I tried to flip this log here and it actually broke. It's kind of hollow. And this guy came flying out. This is a worm snake. These guys spend a ton of time in kind of moist, woody debris and stuff like that. Pretty neat, funny incidental find. I was really wondering what was under the log but uh, I guess this guy was in the log. I'm gonna put the cap piece back on and kind of try to put it back together, and then we'll let this guy go. All right, here we go. <laughs> Look at this big wolf spider carrying an egg sack. Let's see how big it is right here. It's a big spider. Here's another snake. I've seen two others of these. These are, this is a black racer. It's really common, but watch. Whoa, I'm not even sure where he went. <laughs> Holy smokes, he just took off that way. Uh, those guys are really, really fast. I just spotted the next snake of the day. It's another black racer. Strangely just hanging out on the open like this. Not really sure what it's doing. I mean, obviously basking, but gone. Oh, check it out. I've got an earth snake. I haven't seen one of these yet this year. I suspect we'll see some later. This one's gotta be gravid or something. It's so fat. Pretty neat. This is my first smooth earth snake of the year. They don't really have a lot of them back where I live. And uh, yeah, they're pretty neat. I always enjoy getting to see them down here where they're common. Just neat snakes, uh, very underappreciated by the people that live where they're common because where they're common, they're really common. But uh, I'm gonna put him back in the grass here and gently return his cover item. Check this out. I hope it's still alive. Maybe we can help it out. Oh yeah, it is. It's a Luna Moth. These guys are super, super cool. Uh, I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's doing too hot, but the male luna moths, which I believe this is, actually don't even have mouth parts. So once they metamorphosize, they don't even eat. Their sole purpose <laughs> is to reproduce. So pretty interesting. I'm going to put it maybe off the ground and give it a fighting chance if it's still kicking, but it's possible that it's, there we go. It's possible that it's kind of seen better days and it's already made it. All right, so we're starting to get some rain, so I'm gonna switch from hiking to flipping and see if I can find some more snakes. There's a little brown snake. Hey, back here. Oh. And a little smooth earth, I think. Yeah, two fossorials, very common in this area. Smooth earth snake and a little brown snake. I've seen both of these already today. Let them go. Oh 
almost didn't see this guy. A little earth snake. Super common little guys. I'll let him go. He's so chubby. Remember earlier when I was saying I don't like these things? This is why. Another chubby little smooth earth snake. Put them back. All right, the rain is absolutely torrential right now. I'm gonna go hit one last flip site and the next clip that you're gonna see is either gonna be a snake or it's gonna be me soaking wet. All right, well, uh, that's what leaked through my raincoat and with this amount of rain, I don't think much is happening. So I'm gonna continue this video either later or on another day. All right guys, right now I'm trekking through the woods to my favorite green snake spot that I found last year. And if you haven't seen this video already, last year we actually got to see a nest of baby smooth green snakes hatch. It was the coolest thing. And uh, it got me really excited about this spot. So it's my first time checking it this year and I'm gonna flip some rocks and see if I can turn up some green snakes. Nobody there. All right, just flip this piece of wood. Got a little red-bellied snake. I guess little is not appropriate because it's pretty fat. Might be a gravid female. It's a little early in the year to tell, but it's a big snake. I'm gonna put it back under here. Good looking rock. All right, I just saw a huge green snake in here. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, yes. Holy smokes. That's awesome. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, beautiful big green snake. Oh man, that's so cool. So, I was walking around the edge of the field looking for rocks to flip. I've been flipping rocks at this spot and almost nothing has been undercover. I've seen a red-bellied snake and like two or three garters and then I just kicked this guy up on the crawl because I figured, you know, I guess if they're not under rocks, they might be out on the crawl. And I guess I was right because I saw this big green snake darting through the grass and decided to hit record. So that is just super, super neat. What a beautiful snake. I'm gonna take some pictures of it. Of course the one rock I'm not filming has this in-shed smaller smooth green snake under it. It's just this tiny unassuming rock and right over there is where I got the big one on the crawl. So I'm gonna walk around for another minute or two before photographing these guys and see if I can turn up another. All right, I'm gonna start by letting this in-shed green snake go back under her rock. Perfect. I'll give you guys a better look at this big one. What a beautiful snake. He's doing that head bob. They do that to mimic the motion that grass makes in the wind. So he sways back and forth, hoping that it helps him camouflage. But man, you can see my hand next to it. It's a huge green snake. So cool. All right, what an awesome snake. Super excited. I didn't think I was gonna see one of these today after flipping a bunch of rocks that had nothing under them. So you guys are gonna get to see how quickly these guys can disappear into the vegetation and become pretty much invisible. So if you're walking along, I mean, good luck noticing that. And to be honest, I don't even know where his, oh, there he is. I don't even, it's like hard to tell even where he is and I just let him go. So uh, I think that means I'm gonna change tactics. I'm gonna walk around the edge of this field and see if I can find any others out in the crawl. All right, I see a rat snake basking over here. I'm gonna try to get to it before he knows I'm coming. Here we go. Check that out. Whoa. There we go. Now I realize upon picking it up that it's got some large meals in it. Right there, it's got a food bolus. You can see it's a very pinkish looking individual, nice and red, which is pretty neat. I haven't really seen one like that if I can think about it, but because this has a large meal in it, I'm going to put it down because I don't want it to 
regurgitate the meal that it worked pretty hard for. All right, I'm just gonna put it down here. Wow, very interesting looking rat snake. I haven't seen one from this area, but it's really pretty. That's awesome. There we go. All right, so I flipped a rock and I just caught a glimpse of this guy taking off through the grass. It's a little red-bellied snake. I guess pretty much average size, but usually at this spot I see the light brown phased individuals, but this is a very dark one. He's kind of graphite colored. That's pretty neat. You get the name Red Belly from this bright red belly. Super cool snakes, I'm gonna put them back. Come on, let go of me, buddy. There you go. Come on, there. He's free. Just flipped that rock and got a nice ringneck snake. Pretty neat. This guy's kind of cool looking. He's got like a browned nose tip. I haven't really seen that on ringnecks, at least in this area that I can think of. He's gone ahead and pooped all over me, which is wonderful. But uh, fairly yellow fellow. I'm gonna put his rock back and then put him back. There you go, buddy. Ooh, red belly snake, check it out. Holy smokes, that is a girthy one. Wow. That's gotta be a gravid female. Look at the, the girth on this snake. It's a big, fat one. Pretty neat. I'm gonna put it back. All right guys, I'm gonna wrap it up. So if you made it this far in this video, thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos like this and I'll catch you guys in the next one.